Assalamu alaikum. Every dua, supplication or prayer you make is heard by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No doubt. He knows us better than we know ourselves. If we're asking for something that he knows is very detrimental for us in the future, you desperately want to marry someone and Allah knows that something really bad is going to happen afterwards, he may save you from it by answering your prayer by not giving you what you want simply because he loves you more than you love yourself. Subhanallah, that is something amazing. The moment you understand this, you will understand the Almighty says to us, I've always heard your dua, your supplication. I always answer it. I either give you what you want immediately, and that's obviously the best thing. That's what we all want. But Allah says, sometimes out of my mercy, I give you what you want but after some time. So he delays it to a better time. You may be desperately wanting something and Allah knows that it's good for you after two years, after five years, after 10 years. So he will give you exactly the same thing later on. Sometimes he will give it to you, but in the hereafter, subhanallah. If he knows that that is the best for you, sometimes the reward of the sabr and the patience you're going to go through is tremendous such that just the patience is enough to have booked you and reserved you a place in paradise. Then sometimes what Allah does, when he knows that there is something for you better than what you're asking, he then gives you the thing which is better, even though in my small mind and yours, we may not understand how that was better for us. But remember, it's better in the, in the worldly life as well as in the hereafter. Fit dunya wal akhirah. So sometimes because we don't realize that what he has ultimately given us is better than what we desperately wanted. We don't see, we think he didn't answer, he didn't hear, he doesn't love us, he doesn't care for us. But Allah says, I know better than you. Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows and you don't know. Sometimes, like I say, if the Almighty knows you want to marry someone desperately, this is an example I'm going to use. For some reason, it's blocked. Every avenue you try, you just cannot get this happening. And so maybe Allah knows something in the future was going to happen. Maybe the person was going to pass away. Maybe the children that were going to come as a result of that type of a relationship might have been troublesome or they may have been challenged in one way or another. Or you may not have had those kids. Allah knows best. I don't know, you don't know. So trust Allah, he knows. At times he replaces what you want with something else in Jannatul Firdaus. So these are some of the ways that he responds to your dua, your prayer, but he definitely answers your prayer. What's your job? Your duty is to keep asking, keep nagging, keep repeating, repeat every day. He loves it when you repeat, oh Allah, grant me, oh Allah, you are most merciful. You know how to ask him? Let me explain. People say, my dua is not answered. Number one, praise Allah. Number two, seek the forgiveness of Allah. Number three, send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad, peace be upon him, his family, his household, his companions. Number four, ask what you want in the most beautiful ways and ask in any language you want. Keep repeating it and express how desperately you want it. If you really shed a tear or two, it would help because subhanallah, Allah is very, very merciful. You know, when you shed a tear, subhanallah, it actually is another level of supplication. Then as you're ending your prayer, make sure you end it again with the blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu and perhaps some praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's how you ask Allah. And if you were to precede your supplication with a good deed, the chances of it being accepted are far more. If you were to precede it with a, a charity or fasting or salah or something good, recitation of the Quran, it would really be good. Then there are certain times that are better than other times. Get up at night when everyone is asleep and cry at the time of the hajjud. At the time, the last third of the night, cry at that time, ask Allah because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that at that moment, he descends to the lowest heavens asking, who is asking me that I can give them, who is repenting, that I can accept their repentance, who is seeking forgiveness so that I can forgive them. Then another very interesting thing that you need to do, my brothers and sisters, 
You need to be on the right page with Allah. If you're involved in a sin, try and cut it out. Cut out that sin for the sake of Allah. Seek forgiveness from it. If you are doing something wrong, improve your relationship with Allah and Allah will grant it to you. I know of many people who two years later, they say, Subhanallah, my prayers were answered in the best possible way. You're looking for a job. Never give up prayers. So the Prophet ﷺ says, يُسْتَجَابُ لِأَحَدِكُمْ مَا لَمْ يَسْتَعْجِلْ you know, your prayers will always be answered for as long as you don't make haste. So they asked him, what is meant by making haste? He says, a person who says, falam yustajabli. I called out to Allah, I called out to Allah, I kept calling out to Allah, but he has not answered my prayer. That means you gave up, so Allah does not give up until you give up. If you've given up, it's over. But if you haven't given up, remember, Allah will never ever give up. May Allah grant us our wishes. May Allah grant us the best of this world and the next. May Allah safeguard us from that which we are asking for, which we don't know is actually detrimental for us out of His mercy. May He keep it away from us and then may He make us happy with it. I end off by telling you there is a supplication known as Dua al Istikhara. Wherein, if you were to read the meaning of it, you say, Oh Allah, if what I'm asking, you know, is good for me, my religion, my present, my future, my uh, hereafter, then let it happen for me, make it easy for me and grant me blessings in it. And if you know it is bad for me, my present, my current life, my my future, my hereafter, my deen, my religion and so on, my relationship with you, if you know it's bad for me, then Keep it away from me, keep me away from it, and then make me happy with your decree. Oh, that's an amazing supplication. I pray that we can learn from it. So don't give up, never lose hope, understand the Almighty loves you much more than you love yourself, and He knows for a fact what's better for you. If you have a good relation with Allah, He'll always give you what's best. Be happy with what you have. Sometimes what you want is the worst thing you could have. Allah saves you from it through His mercy. Don't complain and don't blame Him and don't be upset with Him. Never. Oh Allah, grant us the ability to be pleased with your decree and decree for us that which is, which is the biggest blessing for us. Make it easy for us. Grant us our wish when you know it's best for us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.